Hi, I'm Nick, and this is a show about art. This show is all about your art and your creations. Every episode is different, but every episode will challenge you to try new things, learn new stuff, and become a better creator. Oh, and let's inspire and encourage each other through it all. Let's get into it. Hey, artistic badasses. Last week, your fight club, I mean, artistic homework, was to create an artwork in only 10 minutes. You awesome people handed in your creations with the hashtag ashowaboutart on Instagram and Redbubble. Let's take a gander at your entries. Tanage102 used colour pencils to create this batty. Create Contingency drew this picture of Poland after recently booking flights to visit the country. Ali's Art painted an octopus enjoying a healthy dose of chocolate milk. And Billy Art even filmed his entry of a Roblox keyboard player. Picked at random, Ali's Art will take home this artistic badass sticker prize. Great work everyone. Remember, it doesn't matter what your artistic level is or what materials you use. Anyone can get featured and anyone can win a prize. And now it's time for some art inspiration. Let's boot up this segment, Machine. How much do you know about street art? If you're anything like me, the answer is not much. Well, it looks like this is a great excuse to learn more about it. Grab up your popcorn, grab a cup of tea, because here's a short film I made about it. So, I'm an ink and watercolor artist, but there's so many more art styles out there, and I want to learn about them all. So today, we're going to learn about No matter where you go, whichever city, town or country, you will always find one thing in common. Street art. You'll find it in Melbourne, San Francisco, Tokyo, London, Brasilia, St. Petersburg, Madrid, Antarctica. Just making sure you're paying attention. Antarctica is just full of ice and uh, penguins. So what is it about street art that makes it found all over the world? Some say it's because graffiti and street art is a raw, free and gimmickless way of expressing yourself and how you feel. Some say it's about conveying a message which everyone can see and absorb in a place they least expect it. Others say it's a crucial part of giving the voiceless in society a voice. People say a lot of things, so... Let's actually ask the street artists why they love street art and why they do it. So I talked to Melbourne art duo Creature Creature and asked them a few questions. Here's what they told me. Creature Creature believes street art can change the culture of a city and help develop its own unique identity. More importantly, street art allows people to become more engaged in art and the artists who create it. Street art is essentially artistic expression which spills out from the studios and galleries and onto the streets. Any venture which brings art into the lives of everyday people is something Creature Creature supports. When Creature Creature is painting in a public area, they consider the space and the people who pass it every day. Public pieces are created for the people who interact with the space and are not always for the artist's own personal tastes and desires. Sometimes it's a challenge for Creature Creature to create a piece of art for the immense diversity of the general public but they also enjoy finding the artistic solution to this problem. So what does Creature Creature enjoy the most about creating street art? Creature Creature enjoys the process of working on a larger scale that canvas or paper can't afford them. Street murals also have the power to reach and connect with far more people than a paper or canvas artwork hanging up in a gallery somewhere. Even the creation process of street art attracts the interest of those walking past and provides an immediate source of feedback and encouragement. That's why Creature Creature loves painting murals and will continue to do so in the future. There will always be differing opinions on the legality and the value of street art in almost every city in the world. However, the benefits of street art are unmistakable in places such as Melbourne, where street art attracts tourism, breathes life into coffee and food culture, and provides a vehicle for self-expression like nothing else. So what are your opinions on street art? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for learning more about street art with me. A special thanks goes out to Creature Creature for helping me with this episode. 
There's a link to their Instagram in the description below, as well as their Redbubble store where I've managed to get you a 15% discount on their amazing prints, t-shirts, and phone cases. Just use the code word that's on screen right now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I'm not the only one who wants to try out street art for the first time. I want to street art all over my canvas and paper. I think it's time for an artistic challenge. Artist challenge. Participate in this challenge with the hashtag ashowaboutart on Instagram and Redbubble. Participants will be featured on the next episode. Your challenge for this week is to create a street art inspired artwork. I'm a little nervous for this because I've never done it before and I'm not sure if I can do it, but this is the reason I made the show, to try new things together. If you don't have any ideas for a street art inspired piece, try drawing your name in a graffiti font. But you can make anything you want. Just make sure it's inspired by street art. For my own piece, I'll be taking a street art type font and combining it with a skull. So this quote says, pissed off, beat scared every time. I can't remember exactly where I got that quote from or where I heard it from, but it makes a lot of sense to me because anytime that I haven't wanted to do something and I've been annoyed or pissed off, I've done it. Uh, it's just that extra motivation, I guess, that just helps me along to do something when I don't want to do it. So I thought I'd put it into a shirt design just because it was in my head and relevant at the time. And then I decided just that quote is not enough so I started to draw this scale design in the background um, and I, I was happy with how the line work came out. Uh, I'm just using a sharpie here for all the line work and I cleaned it up with a fine liner uh, pen as well which made it look so much better I sharpened it up. Now I put it into Photoshop and I'm just putting some cool effects on it. Here's my final design. I'm not totally happy with how street art inspired it ended up being. Maybe I'll have to try this challenge again one day. Nonetheless, I'm uploading it to Instagram and Redbubble with the hashtag ashowaboutart. Here's what it looks like on some Redbubble merch. Entries will be featured on the next episode of A Show About Art. So make sure you're using the hashtag A Show About Art on Instagram and Redbubble so I can see them. I can't wait to see what street art inspired artworks you come up with. That's it for this week. Thanks for drawing with me and goodbye for now. But not forever. Check this out. This about dreams. Patterns I carved out. Materials given. I could have written my heart out. And God is dark now. I guess I gotta illuminate. So many people dying already can. Seeing that tuna fake. To be frank, some duke it out. World's a kumite. Assuming they ain't trained for this. Nah. Corrupt data on the blank is this. Not what you think this is. I'm what you can't dismiss. Kiss the sky when I wake. Cause it could have been my way.